We are almost done here. Let's go ahead and put some of these shaft colors in place. To do that, I'm just going to rotate my screen a little bit so I can see this back part of this here. I'm going to grab a sh shaft collar, hold down Alt, I'm going to click it real close so it snaps into place. And it glitches out just a little bit, but if it doesn't bother you, I'm okay with that too. This is just giving a general idea of where things would have to go. It doesn't have to be exact yet. Uh, let's get to where you can see the other side. And we're going to do the exact same kind of thing. So I drag that guy over, hold down Alt, and snap him in place there. And now this should be easy, but this does not have the eye mates on it, which isn't a big deal. All we're going to do is grab one of those shaft collars, drag it over a little bit closer, right click and go to constraint. We want to get the flat part on that and the flat part on this and say apply. And then we're going to use that center line of both of those to say apply. Exact same thing here on the other side. So I'm going to grab the flat part first. Flat part of one of these shaft collars. So that snaps those together. And then I'm going to line up that center line with that center line. Hit apply. Exact same thing on the other side. So here, we don't have something to line it up with. So I'm going to grab that flat part here first. This flat part over here, they snap together, say apply, and then the center line and the center line, and those are good. Last one. That flat part with that flat part, say apply, center line with center line, apply. We have these two little spacers. They're going to be applied in a similar way. So we're going to click on the, the center line. And we want those to line up here. So I'm going to get just on the edge of this guy, because that's where it's going to pop to, and say apply. And then uh, do the same thing on the other side. So I'm not using any mate constraints this time. Uh, these are not fixed in place. So my set screws are going to hold that in a particular place on the shaft. These are just little plastic bushings, and they can just chill out on here. That's fine. Our last bit is going to be this cortex. And we want to make sure we're far enough away from this wheel, even though those two are going to be a little closer together. Those teeth have to mesh, right? That looks pretty good. Uh, by the way, let's make sure this stays in place. Let's go to a front view. I'm going to rotate this down so it looks good. Then I'm going to grab this shaft collar and go down to where it says grounded. Okay. That's going to make it to where this cannot move left and right anymore. And I can move this guy into a more appropriate place. Uh, let's take a look here. What am I doing? Where is it going? Let's just click on him. I'm going to hold down Alt. Drag this on top of one of these so it snaps to the top. Oh, wow. That's where I was. Let's scoot this guy over. Alt, drag. Make sure he stays on top and doesn't shift down to the bottom. We're going to try and do the same thing here. Alt. Come on. Hmm. It doesn't really want to line up anymore. But... I think people will get the idea of where that has to go. And we're going to put the battery right here. So we're going to go right click, constrain. I want the flat part of the battery on the flat part of this. 
and sure, why not? Let's line up this with the edge here, and then we'll offset it in by about a half inch or so, and say apply. So now this is in a particular spot. Um, this can still be scooted over if we need to. This is almost done. The last video is just going to be putting the treads on this conveyor belt.